Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Happy Saturday. Welcome back today to another Minecraft console edition seed Saturday showcase. Today's seed for you guys features the most villages I have ever seen in a classic world on Minecraft console edition. Now thank you everybody who left their seeds in the comment section of the last console seed showcase. If you guys have any more seeds in the community that you think are absolutely awesome and deserve to be shared with the world and the community then be sure to leave a comment down below now if you do enjoy this video be sure to thumbs it up i hope you have a great saturday and a great weekend now if you guys are new to my channel thank you for subscribing this series is where i bring you guys the latest and greatest minecraft console seeds and the seeds i review work on all versions of minecraft console that is 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PS4, PS Vita, and even Wii U because we use the classic world set. And then at a later date, you guys can extend your world to small, medium, or large if you're on Xbox One or PlayStation 4. So this week's seed is coming from Ender. Thank you so much for this seed. He said, awesome village seed. Then a load of numbers, which is the actual seed. So make sure you guys pause the video. Five villages close to spawn, two temples, 5 to 11 villages in total, he's not lying at all. A lot of blacksmiths, he's not lying again. 2 or 3 ravines, stronghold is beneath one of the villages, I haven't explored it that much. Now, I'm not going to be showing you guys where the stronghold is, but literally everywhere you go in this seed, there is a village. And the majority of these villages do in fact have blacksmiths. Now, blacksmiths are useful because it means free loot. Um, but let's jump into this, I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy this. Let's go to play. Let's go to Seed Saturday, and as you guys can see, the seed is exactly what he posted in the comment section. It's just asked 585 11 90 11 29 52 And as you guys can see here, I'm using a classic world. You can extend if you want to. I'm not going to because this world has everything you need. So let's load up this world. I'm looking for as many awesome Minecraft console seeds as you guys can find. So this is the exact spawn point that you're going to spawn. You literally spawn on a village with a blacksmith. Now, once this world loads up, you guys are going to see a lot of glowstone that I've pinpointed villages, temples, and much more. Now, be very, very careful in the seed because when you spawn, you're going to spawn around, around about here. Now, that is lava, all right? And nine times out of a ten, we will walk forward. So be very, very, very careful with that. You don't want to die. But as you guys can see, if I go up a little bit, you guys can see glowstone there. You can see glowstone over there, glowstone there. There is literally glowstone everywhere. You can see it over there as well. So these are where you do spawn, guys. But I'm not going to be showing you the coordinates of all the villages. I'm just like I'm just going to let you guys go and explore because there's villages at every point in the scene. The last seed showcase I did for console was pretty much sand and savanna biome. It's exactly the same in this one. It seems like these produce the best things in terms of villages and loot. Now, before we go and see the blacksmith, we do have ourselves. Like I tell you guys every single time, we have ourselves a library. Take these books, all right? Because it means that you can use them for enchanting and obviously your enchantment room. All right, so the most important thing, of course, when you find a village, you want it to have a blacksmith. This does come with a blacksmith. And, uh, ooh, okay, then it actually comes with a, a cave. For some reason, right, a lot of the villages in Minecraft console edition are built over caves, which always leads to good things. So let me get rid of this. This and this. We don't need these. We want to see how much loot we can now end up with in today's video. So, <laughs> that's a jackpot. Three diamonds, three iron ingots, an iron chest plate, and a pickaxe. That is the perfect star ever. And you literally spawn right there. All right. So, we're going to go. I think we're going to go this way to start off with. This does feature a desert temple. It also features another village over there with a blacksmith, I believe. And then we've also got another blacksmith over there. So, Loot on Minecraft console edition in these temples, they don't really produce much, but I'm going to show you guys the coordinates anyway. It's just the right from spawn. It's actually the bottom right of the map. Again, I don't really need to show you the coordinates because you'll find it for yourself. Break this because we don't want to blow it up. We've got ourselves an emerald, five iron ingots, poop, because this is generally poop. The emeralds are useful, guys, because of course, with lots of villages to trade with, I highly suggest taking it. We've got four diamonds already. The perfect start in any Minecraft survival world. Um, and if you guys find any extra additions in these worlds that I have missed, whether you find spawner locations, whether you spy, find just good terrain, then leave a comment down below because people always do check it out. So let's go to the next blacksmith. 
This one does not feature a librarian that I know of, which it doesn't really matter because the majority of these do have a library. Uh, but let's head inside. Any diamonds in this one? <laughs> that is awesome. We now have seven diamonds. We've also got ourselves some food and some gold. So now we've also got the majority of the ores that you normally get inside of these. Don't forget, guys, you can take the food as well. I highly recommend taking the food. So that is the bottom right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go up this way a little bit. We'll go around the outside and then we'll come to the center. Sadly, this one does not have a blacksmith. I apologize. It does have a library though. N nope, it doesn't have a library. Okay, probably the worst village out of all of them. But it's still pretty cool because it has food anyway. And villages, which are useful at trading with. Okay, onwards and upwards because we've got a lot to go through. Hopefully one of you guys are counting how many villages we've been to. Because there's a lot more to go to. Uh, this next one is a tiny one. This is just literally... This is the perfect one, alright guys. It's got a library and a blacksmith. The best things that you can get from a village are these two things. Because books and then free loot. So in this free loot we got ourselves... Okay, we got ourselves some more chest plates and some legging, uh, some some booties. Extra bit of food. The loot is still going good. Again, take these books. I'm now up on the right hand side going towards the top. I think there's one more village around here. Unfortunately, for a classic world, this does not have a guardian temple. Which is why on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, I would suggest making the world a little bit bigger. Nothing here. Just a small ravine. Pretty good for exposed loot such as iron, but considering you have seven diamonds already, you're not going to be using iron that much, apart from making buckets and stuff. So, continuing on, we're going to keep going down this side, which is going... Okay, we're going back towards the top of the map now. I don't think there's anything here, but we'll check it out anyway. I'm just going to have a quick peek, actually, otherwise I don't, I don't want to miss anything at all. There's also desert wells as well. I Oh, is that a cave? It is a cave. I didn't find any exposed spawners, but again, that's up to you guys to go and find and leave coordinates for us. Um, this is the best village that I noticed because it comes with a massive ravine, but be careful because a lot of mobs will spawn around here. I didn't find a mine shaft around here, um, but there's a lot more loot and... Oh, oh, it's a double ravine. Oh, okay then. So we've got a ravine inside a ravine and we got ourselves some diamonds. <laughs> All right, so we got seven. We're gonna, we would have eight, nine, 10, 11. You guys could have 11 diamonds. That is awesome. Anything else exposed down here? There's a little bit of lapis. There's even more. Okay, there's even more ravines. Okay, so it's like a triple ravine. A ravine, in a ravine, and then another ravine. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna find even more diamonds. So this, I will show you the coordinates. It's actually at the top of the map. You cannot miss it because the ravine is absolutely huge. But again, I don't want to spend my time exploring this for you. This is for you guys to go and adventure for yourself. You might find another ravine. And I think this is another ravine. Kind, not really. I'm lying to you guys. It's not quite the ravine we were still looking for. Oh, we got a bob. Okay, well, let's get ourselves out of here. I'll let you guys do the exploring inside of this uh, awesome ravine. So again, this is the best seed that I have noticed. Sorry, the best village seed I have noticed. So we're over here. This comes with a little bit of a broken village with this. Because this is like... Like, I don't know, it's just kind of broken with the blacksmith. Um, a lot of food. Again, it's got another blacksmith, so I highly recommend taking the free stuff, because free loot is good loot. Oh, we got ourselves a sword. Not the greatest bit of loot, but we don't need any more diamonds, because we're, we're flying anyway, and that's a really high library. Good thing about buildings being high is that the library, um, the mobs won't get out of there. There's two libraries here, because they're trapped in, and they see it like that they don't want to jump down and injure themselves, so... We still got a few more things to go. We've got ourselves another temple here. Another village to go through. Don't think this one has a blacksmith. It does have a blacksmith. I'm lying to you guys. Let's see what loot we have in this one. In this one we've got ourselves obsidian. Okay, and another pickaxe. Look at all the loot we've got so far. Absolutely perfect. Um, anything else going on around here? I looked. This would have been the perfect location for a guardian temple. Sadly, there was not one there. But, oh well. It's still pretty useful to have oceans i guess in a way i don't know you can't complain oh yeah this one's got a massive cave going underneath as well so you're gonna be exploring for days in the sea now i'm doing this in like around about 10 to 11 minutes you guys are gonna have a lot more time to explore this we've got ourselves jackpot of emeralds we've got ourselves more diamonds that's the most diamonds i've seen in the seed and we've got ourselves even more diamonds a lot to rotten flesh pretty good actually guys even more diamonds 11 diamonds, 14 iron, 7 emeralds, 19 gold. The jackpot of seeds is 
This is amazing, all right? I, I didn't think this seeder was gonna work, but it worked perfectly. I don't think there's anything else in this world that I need to explore or show you guys. I think I've showed you the majority, if not all the villages that are available within this seed. Whew, I'm out of breath because there's so much going on. Did we, did we see this one before? I think we've seen this one. I think we're by the spawn again. I'm guessing we're, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, well in case we're not, right? I'm gonna have a quick sneak peek inside of here because I don't know if we've been here yet. I don't know if we've been here yet. This might be the last one I've not been to, but if we have been here then... Oh, we haven't been here. Okay then. So we got ourselves even some horse armor and this is pretty much near spawn. It's not that far away from spawn. So spawn is gonna be over there. This is the only one that I know that we missed. Incredible seed. Thank you so much Ender for sharing it with me. I've never seen this seed before. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed another Seed Saturday Showcase. If you did, be sure to thumbs up. If you find any extra additions, leave them in the comment section. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!